Phoebe put on her rain boots. Mama taught them the lotions, and Grammy taught them wellies. But Phoebe taught them rain boots because that was what they were for, splashing about in the rain. Phoebe likes her boots a lot, but it wasn't raining today. So Phoebe decided to call them sun boots, and now she was ready for school. Phoebe's favorite teacher was Miss Martha. She was kind and smart. When Miss Martha saw Phoebe in her sun boots, she said, "Well, we'll just have to put the sprinklers on after lunch, and splash around." Miss Martha totally understood boots, but first. Said Miss Martha, "Let's work on on writing our names." The other teacher, Miss April, put a big basket of pencils on the table, and got out her guitar. Miss April liked singing better than talking. Phoebe chose a pencil, and then decided putting her right sun boot on her left foot. And her left sun boot on her right foot was more important. Phoebe's toes felt wrong in boots. Miss April sat down beside her. Phoebe, we're writing our names. Give it a try. Phoebe had seen her name before. Mama had even stitched it on her lady bag, lady bag backpack, and it started with a P. And had a whole lot of other letters that didn't make sense. Phoebe felt that her mother had made a mistake, and she didn't she didn't want Mama to feel bad about it, because everyone makes mistakes, even Mamas. Phoebe had put down her pencil and picked up another one. Then she held it under her nose and pretended it was a mustache. Miss April was floating around the table singing quietly, just sounded out. Phoebe sounded out the first letter of her name, F. This was certainly not how her name began on her backpack. P was for popcorn and pencils. She knew the letter that made the right sound, one line and two sticks. The next sound was E. Phoebe drew one and drew it in an extra so the first E wouldn't feel lonely. Maybe that's what Mama was thinking when she stitched that crazy O. And now Phoebe was at the letter she loved, the only one that made sense in the lady bag backpack. And when she sounded it out, a bubble and a stick, the hard part was getting it to face the right way. At the end of the name was the E sound again. Phoebe wanted to try something different. Maybe she. Could borrow the letter that was at the end of Nikki's name. It sounded right. Nikki wouldn't mind. Miss Martha came over and looked at the children's work. Something's not right, she said. She turned and walked away. Phoebe's boot felt hard on her feet. Maybe they really were only for rainy days. Miss Martha returned and placed a box on the table. We forgot to decorate our names with super with glue, little glue. Phoebe liked little glue a lot. She opened the orange tube and squished it all over her name. It sparkled and shone. When Phoebe ran out of little glue, she switched her right sun boot onto her right feet. And left sun boot on her left foot. Ah, that felt better. Phoebe handed her name to Miss Martha. She, who smiled and said, "What a great start!"